Hey, I'm Chris Passmore, Senior Account Manager with McElroy Manufacturing. And I'm Vince King, Service Business Manager with McElroy Manufacturing. We're here to talk to you today about setting up a job site, and we're going to incorporate some productivity tools that are really going to make your life easier. The way we set up our job site will vary depending on the needs of the particular job. In this case, we need to fuse 200 feet of 12-inch IPS DR-17 for temporary sewer bypass. We'll fuse it up and then we'll move on to the location for install. Let's take a look at the equipment we have on hand to help us complete this task efficiently and productively. For this job site, we've chosen to use a Trackstar 500 Series 3 fusion machine. I really like using Trackstars because they're mobile and they allow me to set the entire job site up and put the machine exactly where it needs to be. After I've done that, I can use the tracks to make minor adjustments to my alignment. Overall, track stars just make my life a lot easier fusing pipe. The T500 Series 3 comes standard with hydraulic clamping. It also has the benefits of hydraulically pivoting and indexing facer and heater. Another great benefit of the T500 is that it's all self-contained, so you don't have to lug a generator to the job site. This is the poly horse with power assist. We're using this on the job site today because of its gains in speed and productivity. It's effectively like a speed loader for loading pipe into your fusion machine. For a job like we're doing today, pipe stands are a must have accessory. Pipe stands are gonna save wear and tear on our machine as well as help the alignment of pipe in and out of our fusion machine. You want to have at least two pipe stands to hold the pipe in line with the carriage of the fusion machine. Normally we put a pipe stand on each side of the machine, 20 feet or so away. But since I'm using a poly horse, I don't need one on the loading side. Instead, I'm going to take both of these pipe stands and I'm going to put them on the exiting side of the machine. These are low profile rollers. These are strung together in pairs and laid along the ground underneath the pipe. These are going to prevent the pipe from contacting the ground and getting nicks and gouges. Now that we've introduced you to our fusion machine and the productivity tools we'll be using, Vince and I are going to set up a job site and get to work. Before setting up the poly horse, we need to take a few measurements. We'll be setting up our screw jacks in two rows of three, 15 feet apart. The second row of three needs to be approximately 115 inches away from the first row of three. This will make installation of the trusses much easier. Install all three trusses. After installation is complete, go and collect six detent pins and a rubber mallet. The detent pins will be used on each end of the trusses to secure the truss to the screw jack. Next, we will install the stationary roller on the end furthest away from where we will be making our fusions. Then we will install another stationary roller on the middle screw jack. Next, we will install either a manual pivot roller or a power assist roller. For our job setup, we will be using the power assist pivot roller. Collect the last three detent pins along with a rubber mallet in order to secure each of the stationary rollers and the power assist roller to the screw jacks. Place each stanchion next to the screw jack where it will be installed. Track the fusion machine into place making sure that the carriage is in line with the pipe roller assemblies. This is highly important to ensure that you have proper feeding of your pipe from the poly horse into your machine. Load at least one piece of pipe and then secure your stanchions. Roll the first piece of pipe onto the roller assemblies. Using the provided speed wrench, adjust each of the front screw jacks until the pipe is level with the carriage of the fusion machine. Then, set the safety feet on each of the roller assemblies. Using the level indicator on each of the trusses, adjust the screw jack so that the trusses are slightly angled away from the operator but toward the stanchions. For our job, we'll load two more sticks of pipe. However, the poly horse is capable of handling up to 36,000 pounds of pipe. Then put the safety stanchions in place. Do not ever get underneath the pipe or in between the trusses once the pipe has been loaded. Open the carriage of the fusion machine, remove the facer, remove the heater, and open the jaws. 
In order to utilize the power assist feature on our poly horse, we will attach it to the Fusion Machine's hydraulics. Disconnect the hydraulic facer and connect the hoses of the power assist feature as shown. With our power assist feature now connected, we are ready to load pipe into the machine. Feed the pipe into the movable side of the carriage, lower the pipe into place, and then close the upper jaws. Clamp the pipe. Our first pipe stand is set at approximately 35 feet away from the fusion machine. Our second pipe stand is set slightly closer at 25 feet from the fusion machine. The distance of your pipe stands will vary based upon the size and DR of the pipe that you will be fusing. Load the pipe onto the pipe rollers and into the fixed side of the carriage. After the join is completed, lift the pipe out of the machine with the provided hydraulic pipe lifts. Pull the pipe through the machine using an approved pulling method. Here's a quick tip. Depending on the type of pipe you are using and or the climate conditions, the pipe may tend to bow or curve. If you encounter this challenge on your job, simply rotate the pipe so that the pipe ends are facing up, thus allowing gravity to straighten the pipe before you make your next fusion joint. To prevent scratching and gouging of the pipe, we will use low profile rollers. Low profile rollers are used in pairs. Place one roller on either side of the pipe and connect them as shown. Installation of the pipe rollers does not require you place any part of your body underneath the pipe. Continue pulling the pipe as normal and use as many rollers as necessary to keep the pipe off of the ground. Chris and I hope this video gives you a better understanding of how to set up an efficient job site. Be sure to check out McElroy's many other videos to help with all of your fusion needs. Go to www.mcelroy.com forward slash fusion to find additional information including charts and other reference materials.